get all of them? Oh, that's the trouble with poachers. You never quite know where they are. Well, we've hit every likely hideout, so I'm guessing we cleared them all out. I'm glad you were here, Leone. You really know the lay of the land. Well, Sawin is my home. But you've been here before too, Captain. Sure, but that was a long time ago. And I don't remember it all that well. Ill news, Captain. Another group of poachers has taken hostages from a neighboring village. These people are a disgrace to poaching. Saying so makes it sound like you believe there was some honor in the activity to begin with. These hostage takers must be friends of the poachers who were just here. According to the people of the village, they were involved in kidnapping as well as poaching. They made it sound like more than a few people have been taken from the surrounding villages recently. Sawn too? Yes, they said there was one. Oh, it makes me so mad. These folks sound like bad news. We'd better do something before these new victims are dragged off and never heard from again. House Gloucester's orders were to deal with the poaching issue in Sawin. We did that. Our work is done. How can you be so cold? If you see someone in trouble, you help them. That's just basic decency. I don't see anyone here, do you? You know what I mean. Easy, Leone. The kid was just stating a fact. I'm sure no harm was intended. How could you possibly raise such a cold and unfeeling person, Captain? I wasn't always the best dad, I admit. Uh, perhaps we should shelve this conversation for now and determine our next move? Plenty of villagers helped me out the last time I was in this neck of the woods, so it's only right I pay it back. Plus, I'm not just gonna sit by while poachers run wild in my apprentice's home turf. Captain! But we can't linger long. We track down the bad guys, free the hostages, and go home. Got it? I knew you'd do the right thing. You don't have any connections here, so it's your call if you want to pitch in or not. Nobody will think worse of you if you decide to duck out on this little goose chase. Uh, I'll come. I wouldn't want anything to happen to Leone's home. Good to know I can count on you, at least. I'm sure you'd manage without me, but many hands make light work and all that. Then let's roll. Leone, you're in charge. Leave it to me, Captain. Now, enough deliberation. The time has come for plain old liberation. Uh, sure. Right behind you. The hostages must be... for myself initiating the operation let's go everyone i'm on it let's see how it goes Be further <laughs> in maybe we can draw the bad guys away from them first a fine plan captain once we've done so we can easily rescue the hostages here we go then. let's make some noise and get their attention How many decades has it been since I was here last? Where does the time go? I know what you mean, Captain. Though not literally, of course, as I don't believe I was with you. Bring it down! All right, take it down! We will. No. 
not a problem. I've got the only with poachers the last time you were here, too. Remember? Can't say I do. Stand down! None of you were with me the last time I came here. That makes sense. She would have been too young. I was with the Knights of Seven. Hey! Just stand there with your mouth hanging open! Attack! Not a problem. I've got this. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Initiating the operation. Let's go, everyone. Got it. Time. Well, we've drawn them out. Now's our chance to rescue the hostages. Let's take care of any enemies who held back and rescue those hostages. Guess we should mop up the rest of them, huh? Please, Captain. Do we need the blade breaker? First met the captain. I was a weak little village girl. And now I'm a mercenary. I really have come a long way. You? Weak? That's hard to imagine. This stronghold will fall! Let's see. Breather. Captain Gerald taught me how to determine the flow of battle by capturing key points on the battlefield. He's the best. My turn. I can't take much more of this. I didn't realize Gerald was into strategy. It's always struck me as more of a hit him until they stop moving sort of guy. Oh, he's strategic when he needs to be. Underhanded even. He does whatever it takes to win. You're in my way. Still fighting. Looking good. Don't get caught. You're in my way. My turn. Hey, you're Leone from Sawin, right? Wow, you've really grown up. Thanks for the help. <laughs> I'm surprised you recognize me. Though maybe I don't feel that different. Not a problem. I've got it's like everyone from the village is okay. Just have to get them to a safe place now. <laughs> Let's go, everyone. I almost admire how persistent they are. The hostages are in danger. <laughs> Leone and my sibling. All of us were raised by Gerald, after all. Ha! Ha! 
No escape! Which would make you... What, Alois? Our older brother? They sure put up a fight. But the Gerald School of Warfare remains. Defeated. You've become quite the mercenary. Seems like only yesterday, you were just a little kid. I know it seems like yesterday to you, but I've done a lot of living since then. <laughs> Captain, was it too much work taking me on as an apprentice? Nah, I mean, I gotta do something to build the time, Take a break. right? Initiating the operation. Let's go if out of the way.
changes. Out of the way. You're done. Them to kill some poachers in the name of justice, huh? Well, you meddlers should have minded your own business. Beat it. Yes, sir. I told jokes to the hostages as I delivered them safely back to their villages. You could say I had a captive audience. We've restored peace to this whole area, Captain. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Mergs like us are only supposed to work for pay. But a freebie every now and then won't kill me. Yeah, I would have regretted it if I'd gone home. Thank you for doing the right thing. I just followed orders, that's all. Well, I'm thanking you anyway. Now the villagers can live in peace. I was supposed to stay here and be a hunter with my father, you know? But once I met the captain, I knew I had to try and make it as a mercenary. My father and the rest of the village always supported me, before the academy and after. It's been a long, strange path, but I finally became a mercenary and was able to help my hometown in the process. I don't think I've ever been happier. It feels like I've repaid some debts, although not my actual debt from school. Still working on that one. I'm glad we helped you give back, instead of helping to give you back. Alois, you mind reporting back and letting Count Gloucester know what happened? Oh, and, and don't forget to grab the reward money. Understood. I will away at once. Leone, why don't you run along to Sawin and let everyone know things are good now? Tell them I'll stop by later. I will, Captain. Thank you, again. You two should head back to base. I've got to pay my respects to the village elder and Leone's old man. Probably won't make it back until tomorrow. You expect them to throw you a feast, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, yeah. That's why you sent Leone ahead. So the villagers could prepare for your arrival. I mean, you got rid of the poachers and now Leone's telling them you're on the way? You're practically begging them to serve you up a fancy meal. It's not like that. Although, if I get there and they just happen to have a feast ready, it'd be rude to refuse. And poor Aloise doesn't even get to join in on the fun. Shame. Hey, that guy hasn't had a drink in years. He's not missing anything. Now then, this is an evening for grown-ups, so you kids get on home. If anything comes up while I'm gone, you can handle it yourselves. Well, time for me to set off. 
Ah, there's nothing like that first drink after playing the hero. I'm impressed with your old man. That's a savvy move right there. I'll have to follow his lead someday. You would emulate him? Eh, probably not, now that you're asking. Well, guess us kids should shut up and head home. Maybe hold hands so we don't get lost. Must we hold hands? Only joking. I swear, the only thing duller than your blade is your sense of humor. <laughs>